So with every single iPhone, you may end up getting an issue where for some reason, your specific touch screen, your display right here, may end up having some glitches. It may mean that your like, you know, touch screen or your glass screen, whatever this is here, you're having ghost touches or screen glitches, whatever it is. Now, the number one reason why this may happen if it's not a defect of your display is basically with a glass screen protector. So sometimes with your display, you might see that randomly, you might have like air bubbles on your screen protector or something like that. For example, on my personal screen protector that I have right here, I have cracks, I have air bubbles, I have tons of things going on with that display. If my display started acting up, it might mean that I actually have with my screen protector on, I might have some random stuff and residue on it, which is causing the screen to glitch up. So what I would recommend doing is taking a good close look at your display and seeing if you have any of those like, you know, not only cracks or scratches, but like water droplets or anything on a screen protector that can cause a lot of issues. But also if you're having issues on your display, you might just want to go ahead and make sure that your display isn't actually the problem. What I mean by this is if you recently have dropped your phone, if you recently wrecked your phone, if you threw it somewhere, if you put it in a lot of water, and that can cause lots and lots of problems as well. So what I would recommend doing there is just making sure that your phone, just like any other device, isn't having problems with it, you know, because you dropped it or something, because that can be a problem too, and you probably don't want to go down that direction either. Now, if your phone has randomly been acting up, like it's just glitching like this, you don't think you dropped it, you don't think you messed it up, you don't think it's a problem with your screen protector or your case or anything like that either. Another thing you may want to try is actually updating your iPhone. There are lots of times, like I mentioned before, that you may just have some issues like that. So what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and make your way over to your iPhone settings. You want to click on general, you want to click on software update, and all you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and software update your phone. So if there's an update available, go ahead and update your device. And that can be another thing in another way that your device can be fixed. Like I said, there's lots and lots of problems that can happen with your device. And if you're having issues like this, it may be because of that type of problem. So just make sure that's not the issue for a majority of people it might be. So just go ahead and fix that. And that may end up fixing the problem for you. If that's still not working, go ahead and restart your phone by holding down the power button, the side button, and the volume button. Power off your device, go and power back on. And that may end up fixing the problem for you too. So those are pretty much the main ways to go and fix it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.